Okay, we just got up on the roof here. We're looking for a raccoon entry point. And straight away, we can see where a mother raccoon has taken the lid off a plastic roof end. This roof end used to look like that roof end, but the mother was able to pull the lid off. And it's not that difficult because it's only clipped on four spots. It's a very common point of entry for raccoons. Let's go further down the roof here. If we look on the other side, she's actually created a back door for herself, which isn't that common. Quite often, we'll only see one entry hole, but this raccoon created an escape route so that it can get out if it has to. Um, there's also been some damage around the plumbing pipe there that has been prepared, repaired earlier. So now we'll go inside and uh, we'll see what we have. Uh, we know there is at least one raccoon in there. We'll look for babies. There's the mother down the, the edge there. She's in the soffit and then her babies are lying right in front where she would have been lying with them. She's just trying to hide from us right now. And those are the little babies. And she's really close right now. That's her tail. Her head's on the far right side. And it looks like there's at least four babies, maybe five. We're really lucky that the mother's head is away, otherwise she might be a little more aggressive. She doesn't can't really see what's going on, she just knows that something's here. So she's just hiding. It makes it very easy. She basically just left her babies there for us to grab. So I'm just going to grab the babies and we're going to place them in our baby bag. We're still lucky the mother hasn't even turned around. And they're so tiny. Oh. Two. There's number three. Most times we can't take our time like this because the mother is usually charging at us. There she is making some noise. Number four. Hurry up here. Number five. They're very cute. Good. Okay, so now that we have all the babies in the bag here, we're going to take them on the outside and make them cry. And hopefully the mother will then come out and take one of her babies. And if she doesn't, we will install a one-way door, but that's our goal right now is to try to get her to come out and collect one of them and start the relocation process. And there's the mother, she still hasn't moved this whole time. Okay, so we're just gonna take them down. Yeah, he lie on the truck. He lie on the truck. Going to the babies? Yeah. Are they in the bathroom? Yeah, they're in here. There's five of them. Jesus. They're tiny. Oh my gosh. And they're coming up to be a horrible. Yeah. I got a souvenir. <laughs> five of them. Should make you send me on my, uh, my, my, my WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> You can take a picture if you'd like. Oh yeah, my phone, yes, yes.
So it's really important that we do prevention on this job. There are three other roof vents that the animal hasn't compromised, but if we don't do anything with them, what's gonna happen is she's gonna come out, she's gonna break right back in. So we're gonna screen this roof vent. We use a screen box over the plastic roof vent and we screw it to the roof in three spots. And the last step is we want to protect the screws from any water coming in. So we use a high grade caulk to make sure they're sealed against any rain and snow. Okay, so this roof vent is protected. We're now going to put the babies in the reunion box. We'll come this way. So here's our reunion box. Um, before we put them in, I'm just gonna plug in the heating pad. It is early in the season and the overnight temperatures are about three or four degrees. So we wanna make sure the babies stay warm. Just tuck our electrical inside the box. And one by one, we'll put them in the heated box for mom to collect later tonight. Hi guys. Wow. So these guys are probably a week old. A lot more fur on them than kind of the first few days of life. Their eyes are still closed and they'll remain closed for 21 days and they can't hear until they're 21 days of age as well. So they do chitter a lot as you can hear. So we're just gonna put them inside back of the box he's so awesome at this age they really don't know what's going on they rely heavily on their mother and last but not least number five this seems to be the loudest one of the bunch That noise will get mom to come out of the attic and, and collect them and take them to another den site somewhere else in the neighborhood. So we have our one-way door on the roof. It's about three feet away from the box. We're gonna close the box just a few inches just to keep the heat inside. And tonight when the mother comes out of the one-way door and she'll be locked out of the attic, she has no choice but to move them to another den site. And she already has multiple dens say, set up in the neighborhood to move them to. Um, she'll walk up to the door, use her paw, push open the door, climb inside, take one baby at a time, and, uh, and take them off this roof. So we'll return tomorrow just to check up. It's important that we um, come back and, and check that everything has gone according to plan because we are dealing with animals and it's not an exact science. So to leave this for more than one day um, wouldn't be responsible. Um, and we, we want to be as humane as possible and, and make sure that uh, they're well taken care of. We just removed the babies from that attic and this homeowner asked us to look at his house. And at first glance, it doesn't look like they have a problem at all. But when you look at this roof end, you'll see how it just hinges up. The raccoon climbs in and then when he comes out, the lid closed behind him. Another company did come out and look at this, but uh, did not identify a problem because they didn't look close enough. So the neighbor's house is now animal proofed as well. And we have a one-way door on here, just in case they have a raccoon inside. This house didn't have babies, but that house right there, that's the one. If you look above, 
I'm not sure if you can see it, but the the babies that we removed in the video, in the earlier in the video, is on that roof. And then this roof is the neighbors. We weren't scheduled to do this roof today, but we decided to just because if that mother comes out and moves her baby in this house, then we'd be removing the same babies over again. So job complete and on to our next job. So we just arrived the next day and we're just gonna go over here and check the baby box to see what unfolded last night. And the door's wide open, which looks like the mother took all of her babies. And we did get the footage on our trail cam last night, so let's see what happened then.